All right, welcome back to Daytime Tri-Cities. Once again, we are live this morning here in downtown Elizabethton, getting you ready for Covered Bridge Days. It is a three-day festival, entertainment, food, fun for the whole family, a foam party for the kids, the main stage, of course, all kinds of amazing live music happening. Of course, coming up here later today, this area is going to be filled with lawn chairs, all kinds of people getting ready to enjoy all this great music. It has been a team effort pulling this off every year because it is a huge undertaking. We've got David and Kelly here with us, of course, from Elizabeth and Parks and Recreation. And I know you guys so excited to bring the different kind of components of this festival together. Absolutely. Yeah, we're this is this is our big showcase for the year. We and love doing this. Of course, as we talked about earlier too, such history with this festival and bringing kids out and bringing everybody together. What is it that you think that makes this festival so successful each year? Well, I think it's because we do have something for everybody and we use every square inch of property that we have. There's something going on in every corner. And I love that it's just all right here, very walkable for families to do different things throughout the day. And Kelly, I know that Kids Island over there is going to be very popular. Tell us about some of the fun things you guys are doing for the kids this year. So really for Parks and Recreation, when we first took over this festival, the biggest thing for us is we really wanted to make everything so accessible. And so we were really happy to be, be able to introduce that inflatable, the inflatables that we offer are completely free for everyone to enjoy all weekend long. Um, in addition to free inflatables, we also have a free foam party going on all weekend long. We've got free magic shows, um, free character meet and greets. There's just a ton of things for the kids to do that keeps them entertained all weekend long. In addition, there are the pay to play activities. So if you want to spend some money and be able to go up and play on some of our inflatable um, hydro balls that are up there, we've got some different games and activities for the kids to do. So there's just a ton to take in all weekend long. And then, of course, you've got to make your way over and see some of the arts and crafts. These vendors come from all over and just so many great things from fall all the way into, I'm sure, a little bit of Christmas decor as well. Absolutely. And it really shows off what we have here in Elizabethan and our surrounding areas. Um, the artisans that, that are brought in, the food trucks that we have is just really a nod to the Appalachian Highlands and the talent and between the entertainment, um, the arts and crafts, just the talent that we have here in this area is unbelievable. On Sunday, we will be hosting our youth business fair. Um, this is an entrepreneur fair from children ages 7 to 18. These are youth business owners. They'll be setting up for a single day event, a market to come out and shop. Um, once again, just another way to really see the local talent that we've got here. And we've been able to meet some of those youth, just incredible stories and what a great way to showcase that. And then we got to talk about all the amazing entertainment that you guys have. Of course, we're right here in front of the main stage and you guys really do an amazing job at bringing in different acts each night. Well, thank you. And yes, we do. And we, 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 it just, it's just awesome to be able to do that for the people in our, our community and really the people in the whole region that come out to see our shows. Tonight uh, at 8 o'clock we'll have uh, a group called Sister Sadie, Bluegrass Group, award-winning IBMA, great, great, fantastic group. They don't tour a whole lot in this area, so it's an awesome chance to come out and, and hear these ladies uh, tonight. Tomorrow, uh, our in the evening, we'll have our, our main entertainment at uh, 530. We've got Carson Peters and Iron Mountain. The local right. boy does yeah. good, you know, so that's a great story. And then at 8 o'clock, we'll have the Gatlin Brothers. So so we're thrilled about that. And then we, do, we don't stop there. We go on into Sunday. And Sunday uh, at 430, we have Colton Dixon. Uh, he was on American Idol. Uh, he was a finalist. He's an award-winning Christian artist that has he's got a hit right now that's moving up the charts toward number one. So we're really excited about that. So we're hoping that, that all the local churches will bring their youth groups and folks will come out and just come out and enjoy what we have to offer here. My goodness, so much happening over the next three days. And of course, Saturday night, you've got the incredible fireworks show. Absolutely. Hey, for more information, we're going to give everybody the website. You guys did a great job of listing all the great entertainment and the hours and all that good stuff on their website, coveredbridgedays.org. And you can 
and find out who's playing and when, but you'll want to make sure that you and your family come out and enjoy Covered Bridge Days over the next three days.